Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Alex Fresco and today I'm gonna start uh, a new playlist which is gonna be tips and tricks just because I received uh, a file uh, from one of our sales guys and uh, since it is uh, really interesting I thought uh, to start sharing a few things. Let's start immediately importing the file. So I go here, import, desktop, this is the file. Okay, I don't really need this, so I'm gonna get rid of it. So this is the file, as you can see here uh, from the right panel, we have a bunch of lines. And as a first thing, in order to create the panel, I want to join the whole thing together in order to get a single polyline. Single, actually closed polyline. So let's do it. We select everything. We go in modify. Join. And we confirm. Look what happened. So I've got two closed polylines, which I don't even understand why they are closed, and a line. That means that even if it looks flat and it looks fine, it means that there are overlaps. What we can do in this case, we can select everything, explode, so we go back to the original condition. At this point, we have a function in order to clean it up. So we select everything and always in modify, we can find and remember that uh, whenever you see a button with uh, an arrow, it means that there are uh, multiple options. So you click on the arrow and here it is. So eliminate overlaps. So look what happened here on the right panel when I click on it. You see? Now I am able to see all the lines without, you know, the, the scrolling function. So we got rid in one click of all the extra geometries. At this point we can select it, join it, confirm. This is what I wanted. So single closed polyline. And now with it, we can select it, add a panel, and we are gonna create the panel using the geometry. If you are starting with a rectangular blank, remember you can uh, uh, enable the rectangular blank here. And if you want, uh, you know, some uh, excess material on the side, you can uh, just use this parameter that is going to add whatever you type in all around. So in this case, I used 10 millimeters and it will be 10 here, 10 here, 10 here and 10 here. So in all four sides. Otherwise, if you have different uh, access material for some reason, you can enable different access material for sides. And here we can specify what is the access material for the upper side, which is meaning this one. It means this one. The access material for the lower, the left and the right. So here you can specify that. But let's take for now 10 millimeter all around. We confirm. Now we got our panel, our geometry. So that is already selected. We can go in machining. Apply the machining. Remember, there is always the option instead of uh, starting from the corner here, uh, there is the option to change the starting point. So you click. And then you click on the geometry where you want to start. Calculate. 
and in this way I just moved the starting point. Then of course you have uh, lead in, lead out, so you select the one that you like the most for this type of thing. You confirm and here it is, so we can see quickly the simulation. All right, so I hope this was helpful. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching. See you next time.